Hey there guys, this is LB81. I just want to get this video up. I was telling you guys about I was going to unbox this uh, Eastwood uh, 135 MIG welder there guys. As you can see, it's packaged very well. Here's I've always been into it somewhat. I haven't took the welder all the way up, but it comes with the directions and then the DVD. It gives you basic information on that and a couple videos in there guys. Yeah, like I said, it's well, well packaged there, guys. You don't, because right there is your, my, your main, your, my, your lead for your gun. Like I said, it's, it's a good look. I mean, it's all, it's not no trash. But I'll get back to you here in a minute there, guys. Hey there, guys. I'm back. Got this thing all unpacked. <clears throat> unpacked there, guys. Like I said, it kind of is. I like it. It comes with your my argon CO2 or the ga or your gas hose. It comes with real, real good ground. I mean, it may be small gauge, but a lot of these cheap welders, they don't have a real good ground because they don't have the, the copper right there, there, guys. They make a good connection with your ground. That's what's wrong with a lot of the people was trying to chase things down with their welder because they don't have good ground it comes with a little cheap my face shield and the brush and it comes with extra tips and a tip wrench but i got i got extra tips there today from harbor freight and a my, uh, 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 tip my ranch i should say or my or my pliers because you snip you snip you can snip your my water to the right length it comes out of the nozzle or the tip so you can have your have your correct my stick out length like I said and then it comes with the lead or your lead for your gun and it's all well made it's not no trash even it, it, it's even got a nice my hook where you can hook it on stuff if you wanted to like I said it comes with the gauges pretty good heavy duty my extension cord and it comes with a two pound roll of my uh, I think it's I know uh, I know what size that is. That is my O23 war. That's solid MIG water too. But I'm gonna run I'm gonna run flex core on this right here until I get the bottle and get a lease on the bottle or, or buy a bottle. I haven't made a decision on that, guys. But it's a, like I said, it's a Eastwood 135 MIG. It's my 110 volt. 110 volt. It's got it. It's got infinite wire speed. And got infinite heat speed lollies like my uh, like Lincoln summer Lincoln now my dad's got a 135 plus and now it's got infinite heat range now if you go to truck supply and some of the big box stores now if you get a my Hobart now it uh, the 140 they sell there it don't have no infinite my heat range it just got my selected my not uh, selected heat ranges. It don't have no infinite, and I like this a lot better because you you can go in between your settings and get a better better feel or better heat range. Like okay, I got to get off on button. It's got uh, for your trigger right here for your gun trigger, and then for your my for your ground. And it's got it's well made. I like it. And then it's got your chart for your my, for your solid water, your different size solid water, and your different grades of gas, and then flex cord. And this this thing goes from 24 gauge on a on the mig war, clear up to 5 sixteenths on the solid water. And even this right here, guys, you can run a spool gun too, because it's got the switch in there to run the spool right there, and. You go on the, uh, on Eastwood my Eastwood's webpage and you can run aluminum water with this thing too. You can weld with weld aluminum with this with this my machine. Right there's your right there's your reset back there, guys, and then there's your hookup for your your uh, uh, gas. Well, like I said, I like it, and, and I'm waiting on one thing to come in the mail. I ordered some uh, nozzle gel in there because I don't want to run this thing. I, I, mean, I don't care to run it, but I just I'd rather run it with nozzle gel because it keeps that your nozzle and your tip 
up here guys from getting so bad with my splatter especially with my flutch cord but like I said I wanted to get a, a video up the unboxing what I think of and I like it I mean it's it was it was I got it on sale for $279 that's with that's with my shipping and everything to the house and you can't go to go get a, a Lincoln for that much or even a Hellborn for that price there because the 140 the 140 at track supply is 500 and some odd dollars and then if you get a 135 plus for 140 from my Lincoln you're talking 600 dollars but I just wanted to get this video up there guys and I want to get your uh, thoughts on it too comment on this and share and subscribe and I'll talk to you later guys and God bless